there is one thing that's going to make your Squarespace website look like an amateur built it or like it's built from a template and that is if you're still using the Squarespace browser icon also known as a favicon or fav icon I don't really know how you pronounce it but a browser icon is the tiny little image that displays in the top left corner of your browser tab when you are on a website and when you set up a Squarespace website every single website will have their little square logo up there by default and so if you land on a Squarespace website and it still has this little square cube logo icon up there at the top. It tells whoever is on your website that A, this website is a Squarespace website, which you might not want people to know, and B, it shows that the owner of the website hasn't bothered to update this, so it just doesn't look very professional. You'll notice on most websites, if you go on there, they have a logo or a little icon or something that represents their brand up there in the browser tab. So how can we update and customize this in Squarespace so that we have a more professional looking website? All we need to do is go into design and then browser icon and this is where you can upload your icon however there are some specific rules about the type of file that you can upload here now all browser icons will fit into a square format so you first want to make sure that your logo that you are uploading or your image or whatever it is is in a square and you also want to make sure that the file size is no bigger than 0.1 megabytes or 100 kilobytes in file size so that is actually pretty small so if you're trying to upload your normal logo file here it's probably not going to work because that's probably going to be too big it might not also be in a square so how can we create our own customized item that is in the right format first of all you can head over to canva you can create a free account or i have the pro version but i'm going to show you how to use all of the free features in this tutorial just go to create a design up at the top and select custom size here you just want to type in 100 by 100 and that way we're going to keep this icon nice and small perfect for a browser icon 100 by 100 pixels is also going to make sure that this file is square then what you can do is head over to the upload section go to upload files then what you want to do is just upload your logo file it'll appear in the upload section and just click and drag it over to your canvas here now i'm just going to click and drag to resize this i'm going to use the pink guidelines that appear to help center the logo within this white blank square and one thing to note as well because we are dealing with such a small file size your logo might look a little bit fuzzy as you are moving it around but that's okay it's such a small area that people are going to see this icon in so it doesn't matter too much then once you're happy with the positioning you can just go to share click download and then download it either as a png or a jpeg i would probably recommend a jpeg because the file size will be a lot smaller and then download this will download it to your computer if you have the pro version of canva you can actually download this as a png file with a transparent background transparent backgrounds only work with png files and it is a nice way to add your logo as a browser icon without there being a white background on it but you will need the canva pro version to do this and also something else to note is that if anyone is using an older browser png files might not load once you've downloaded the icon to your computer, you can just come into here, upload the file and select your custom browser icon that you've just created. And once it's uploaded, you can click save. Now it is likely that the browser icon that you see when you're navigating around your Squarespace website, even if you refresh it a couple of times, isn't actually going to show the new icon that you've just uploaded. It can take a couple of refreshes. Mine's done it quite quickly, but don't panic if you don't see it there straight away. Now let's say that you have a logo that doesn't fit perfectly into a square. Maybe you don't have a submark or icon version of your logo that you can use that easily just fits into that format. Um, you might have something that looks more like this, which is like a horizontal format format of logo what I would suggest is trying to pick out something from this logo that can fit into a square so in this case the squirrel icon could work really well as a browser icon for your website it doesn't have to be your full brand name and your full logo as you can see with canvas one it's literally just the letter c it doesn't say the full name so what you can do is just crop out a part of your horizontal or differently shaped logo and use that for the icon instead and in canva all you need to do to do that is just double click on the logo file and then you'll see these arrows where you can actually just crop the file i'm just going to click done and that has cropped the file so that we only have this little squirrel icon there i can then resize this reposition it and then this can become my browser icon. 
So I hope this video helped. If you like the idea of using Canva to create icons and graphics for your website, go ahead and check out this video where I show you how you can add a little bit of extra design creativity to your website using free Canva elements such as icons and illustrations to get across different messages on your site. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in another video next week.